All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to another edition of Diffused. Here it is. Yes. Diffused insights into the men of doTERRA. Absolutely wonderful to be here again with you. And uh, tonight we've got a very special guest with us on the line. Um, and we're, you know, we're, we're so excited to have Ben Weesey here with us. And uh, he's currently living in Singleton, all the way from Singleton. That's my old stopping ground. Is it? Uh, I grew up in Musselbrook, mate. So uh, yeah, I, you know, I know we're not that against you. <laughs> so um, Ben, absolutely wonderful to have you with us. Uh, Diamond leader. He's been with doTERRA for about 18 months or so and uh, absolutely um, smashing it. Uh, so great success and uh, fantastic to, uh, to have you on board with Diffuse tonight. All right, ready to go, mate? 10 questions? Glad to be here. Fantastic. Go on, you, Ben. All right, mate, so 10 questions and uh, let's start with the first. Let's yeah. see how you go. All right. What's your, ben, what's your favorite essential oil and, uh, or products, perhaps, and why? Uh, well, I normally say um, cedarwood for me. It's um, kind of the earthy and calming, the woody oil. I think it's um, really the first oil I kind of chose to put on myself, which wasn't placed on me by my wife. So it's kind of um, taking that step, I guess, myself to start to use it. And um, yeah, I know I, I, I mainly use it for sleep and just that, that um, soothing in the evening. So no, I found it to be to be my favorite so far. So. Haley put it on the soles of your feet or what happens there? Yeah, yeah, initially it was like that for, for a while, you know, cause she, she was using it and uh, trying to <laughs> you know, get the family onto it. So um, I'm not sure how long it was until I did it myself, but when she kind of got, maybe missed one or two, I decided to do it myself, so. Yeah, so it was kind of it was beautiful, good choice. Good choice, I have to back you up on that one, yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, um, tell us about your, your first introduction. You mentioned Hayley there, and she was the one who started uh, the ball rolling. But what was your first introduction to the oils? Yeah, look, there was no real um, formal introduction, really, for myself. You know, Hayley bought some and then brought them home. So they're, they're in the home. So And then just started using them around the home and on the family. So it wasn't really a formal formal introduction or any real, it was just kind of here so we never really she never really brought them home we sat down for you know an hour and talked all about it what, what it was all about so i just kind of pieced it together through time and there's certainly a lot of information i could have picked up myself but i was fairly resistant for a while so that was really the truth of the matter so you were resistant oh, that's a pretty uh pretty common thing with us blokes i noticed they uh, yes. a whole rack of oils there behind you there actually on the on the shelf there Yes, yeah, I think that was a, a present. One of the, yeah, so no, that's that stock. So no, we, you certainly um, when, when you when your better half um, gets the bug, and I'm not sure what happens, but they get a bit crazy. You can't uh, help but get wrapped up in it. So, <laughs> all right. So and that sort of leads us on to the next question. So, uh, I mean, how did you feel when the when the oils first came into to your home? I mean, was it a a generally positive thing? It sounds like it was. Yeah, look, for me, it was really confronting because we had young children, so they were only, what were they, two and four type thing, and it was a new thing into the home, and I guess we'd brought them up to a certain point using certain methods, and this was kind of replacing some of those. So, um, And also with my upbringing and the way I was, um, it was never exposed to anything like this before in my life. We weren't really into any of that type of stuff as such, which is kind of alternative medicine type stuff, I guess. So, um, and, I was, and I was very skeptical, I'm, I'm an engineer, so we kind of do our research and, and the internet's great for um, whatever you want to find. So if you're looking for negative stuff, you can find it on the oils. So I probably asked Hayley quite a few pointed questions on it, you know, so um, yeah. So, yeah, but, um, but, but Hayley was really committed and, and um and initially she bought it for just a couple of things and then it, it really evolved month to month and even that was was interesting because it was like a new person in the home in some ways because she was spending so much time researching it and sharing and just just enjoying it so um yeah it was, it was interesting but i can say i wouldn't say it was well, it was a positive initially to be to, to be blunt i think it was really quite an interesting journey for myself to, to go on so so did you have any, any, any sort of uh, aha moments that really swayed you or, or, or sort of really got you on the right path? You know, was there any sort of oils that really you had at a moment with? 
Well, look, I think like like I mentioned, the cedar wood is such the use of that didn't hurt. I think there's a couple of things. Kind of the the kids, um, so we used them, and and we did we weren't having any issues. So you know we didn't have any, and you don't have issues. But you know my brain was like, oh, this is what's going to happen. So we weren't having there was nothing happening. Like it wasn't like the um, world was ending, and yeah. and then the kids started to um, <clears throat> gravitate towards them. So they'd start to ask for them in the evenings, or if they hurt themselves, they'd ask for lavender and stuff, and. And they've got no real bias, you know, they're, they're, they're um, three and five now. So that kind of, you know, made me, again, think about it more and everything. So And kids have a real, it's a pure reaction to things, don't they? They just jump in. There's no bias. There's no prejudice. It's just Yeah. Yeah, they jump on board with whatever you're interested in as such, but they still, you know, they, they weren't resistant. You could tell if there was an issue and they're very raw, um, it would help. So, yeah. um, and, and my brain just thought, well, it says it's pure this like it's just lavender diffused there's no i know what's in it so and we're natural we're natural beings you know so the body knows what to do with it so it, it started to, to make sense and I, and I thought it was really also just going back from industrialized like we used to use the oils as such and then the world got a bit industrialized and, and for profit and that and we refined everything down and we might have lost our way a little bit so yeah it's just um, going back to the natural. So that that's that's you know it took it took me a while. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say oh yeah I loved it from day one. But it was it's probably yeah it was almost probably nine months really I guess. Wow. Probably before uh, I was. As long as that sounds, mate. I'm sure a lot of guys out there are pretty not knowing their heads going yeah it's it's uh it's pretty similar for them. Don't worry. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Um, so number five, what makes uh, oh sorry number four, what do you enjoy about DoTerra as as a company? Um, I know you've got the T-shirt on there. Very proud now. <laughs> yeah, sponsored, so it's really exciting. So, um, yeah, just the, the initially the people. So, so as you get a little bit more involved, kind of from the bottom to the top, like even ourselves talk, chatting here, you know, like we've um, there's all these new people you meet along the way, and um, and uh, if you if they really love the oils, like they really are into it, not just doing it for the business, you know, really into it, and we know those who these people are. Um, they're, um, they're, they're people you want to spend time with. Yeah. So I think that reinforces the relationship between the terror and, and what the company is doing, the ethics of the company and the people doing well and, and really standing up, you know, promoting the company well. When you spend time with them, you, you just want to not leave them like, you know, like yourself when we go to, to Fiji like we did or you go to convention, you don't really want to go home, do you? You just want to keep hanging out with all those people. So... Um, and also just on the business side, I guess a little bit, the company is, is debt free and, it, and it's generous and the product's ethically sourced. Very much so. And also um, they have an eye on the future as well, which I like, you know, like they, they, they go, oh, we don't have to keep. Also I like the bottle design. So I think it's something, you know, for me as a, as a man, it's not like little, it's not too, <laughs> the wrong, I'm not sure it's the right word, but too hippie as such. It's kind of something you'd have on your countertop and you're, you're kind of, it's not too oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're very aware of that. I think Rob Young talked about that at a convention about how you know they wanted a, a new uh, perceived interpretation of of what is a very um, old medicine. So yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's a little bit like a thermo mix because we've got one of those, and it's it's an appliance, but you leave it out in the cupboard because you're proud to have it, and then you use it more because it's sitting there. I think this is the same it, with the colouring and everything. Like Rob talked about it, it's really it's cool, like to have it sitting out, like. <laughs> maybe got a bit too much sitting out behind us but you know like it's just like um yeah so it, it's just it was all ticking all the boxes you know as, as you get into it more and more so well i guess that leads us into um the next question so what what makes doTERRA different for you as a company i mean you, you, you said you're an engineer you might have worked for a few companies in your time so i have yeah so no you're right so the to do so i'm finding to do to do doTERRA you don't have to fit into a box so you don't have to give up who you are to fit in with the corporate brand and, and that. So yeah. I think that's really powerful. So you can be yourself and you can attract your own tribe and then you prosper together. So that's not normal, you know? So, um, and, and you, and um, I've got some notes here, so I keep looking over, but you make, makes work more enjoyable and, um, and soul filling as such each day, because yeah, like if, if your team has a really good day, you have a good day. So, and um, and also to succeed, 
you need to do personal development. So, Absolutely. you know, and that's, that's what the difference is. So they really try to promote that as such. So it's like a, you know, a personal development company. And again, you can tell the people that are succeeding or, or doing well or enjoying it are the ones doing that work and, and, and asking themselves tough questions about who they really are. And that brings out the best version of yourself. And if you've got the best version, then you succeed. So it's really... Um, there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it, hey, than, than people think. I mean, when you think, when you get down to it, a lot more. A lot more. I think it, I think there is. I think like you know, like being, we 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 reach diamond. You know, well, we as in Haley reach diamond very quickly. You know, at a, at a rapid rate. But um, we then drop back. You know, as such to go for a little while and and had to do some work. And then I kind of got more involved and come more on board. And I'm not trying to take credit, but we kind of started work together and. You know, we've we've started to rank diamond again, and, and we're kind of on another path. So, it's it's you know, there's been some work there. Um, also, the company, also the same similar threads. The company has sold. So the, the terror is is generous, and they share the wealth and the knowledge. So, and which is very different to a normal corporate environment. So you're not just a number. So. I've always found it good, like, if you want to find the information, it's there, and, and everyone within other teams, you know, you, you send them a message and they'll send you something that, again, like a normal job would be like, oh, that's proprietary or, you know, that's a secret type thing. So, yeah, it, it's very different. So. Good stuff, Ben. Good stuff, yeah. mate. People. All right, so uh, what do you say to, uh, to men who aren't convinced about doTERRA or their partners in it and, and they're sort of just going along for the ride? And, of course, that, that might apply. It did apply to you for a while, didn't it? Yeah. So, you know, so, what, what do you say to guys who really need a bit of a bit of a, a you know bit of a, a power wow about that sort uh, of thing? It, it, yeah, no, no golden bull. I think it, it take. I feel it takes time, and that's kind of where I stand with it at the moment. I think it probably took me, like I said, around nine months to be convinced. And uh, and like Haley was the terror crazy, so it was every day in our home. But um, and just also a wealth of knowledge. But it was still. Um, I think also just just hearing it from different sources helps as well. So, um, and, uh, and I think by me being involved gives um, Ikigai Oils, like a brand as such, two voices. And I think that's very powerful it is. to hear it because, um, you know, Hayley may connect with, with the sceptical partner as such or the man and then, or I might, you know, and, and, um, and the majority of successful teams have that. I think once they kind of, Get to a certain point and they get to a certain there's, there's when you start to get those diamond days and above the balance really shifts and there's a lot more men involved which is which is really good as well but um and i think also the other thing is just get them to try it because it actually works so. <laughs> that's, that's such a good point you make um yeah a lot of guys you know when they eventually do try the oils this this is game on from there and 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 if they're completely closed if they're completely closed or against it, they have some personal development to do. Yeah, yeah. It's irrational to take a black and white stance on anything in the world. So yeah. if you're so like, this is, this is the wrong, you know, if that's their stance, they've got, to, they've got to work through it and you can't really force that. And it wouldn't just be about the oils, it would be about many things in their life. Very true. So personally as such. Very true, mate. Um, okay, so moving along, how do you see uh, yeah, men's health at the moment? I'll, I'll probably be referring to Oh, both physical and, and psychological and, and, yeah, the whole package. Yeah, look, I think it's, it's generally poor um, and also very misunderstood. Um, I think especially around mental health. So I think men have had to suppress emotions for a long time and, you know, boys don't cry and generations of no open male affection in homes. So we're not really allowed to um, kind of, you know, have our emotions out, you know, it's seen as being weak and that can be in, in lots of different areas. So um, I think the oils allow people to, um, to talk about emotions and to personal development. So that's very powerful. So to kind of admit you have an emotion and then maybe look it up or do an intuitive pick and, and see what that means and start to talk a different language in the home. It, it, it's good for, for couples and for men themselves to, um, to open that door, you know, like oh, I'm feeling a bit anxious or a bit stressed or a bit sad or whatever or a bit depressed. You can put the, put a different blend on and and you kind of feel like you're getting a helping hand. And I think that's yeah, that's very powerful. So certainly, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I I totally agree. 
Absolutely agree. <laughs> um, how, uh, so what do you see is the, uh, the future of essential oils in the world? It's a big one. Yeah, yeah, that's a simple one. That's all. When I'm talking the, about, um, I think when I'm at the next board meeting, I'll, I'll let them know. So, um, <laughs> um, well, they want to have an oil in every home, don't they? That's yeah, I, well, no, I think it will go worldwide even more and keep growing, and I think it will become more mainstream. So, I think it will be accepted more and more by the masses of the wellness options. So, definitely, that replace everything. No, but I think, um, well, what have we got now? Five million users in the world, and and, and there's, you know, the press is all pretty good, you know, and, and the, the voices are getting louder, you know, it's still a negative story pop up here and there, but the amount of people that jump in now and stick up for the oils is, is you can really see a change. So yeah. Yeah. You, you do get um, in, absorbed into this oil world and, and you can think it, everyone's using it because everyone, every, pot, every half post you see people, they use it and love it. But, yeah. but um, no, I think I think it's like 125,000 wellness advocates in, in Australia. That's that's not Yeah. But it's also I've just noticed myself like you know like I picked up a tea the other day and it said it had you know the essential oils get released if you brew it for 5 minutes and I <laughs> I was in like a, a hotel in Melbourne and there was essential oils in the shape. So it's 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 becoming like gluten or free or whatever. It's starting to become a bit of a buzzword as well. So um yeah, so it, it's yeah. interesting in that way, but I think it's that's not a bad thing because the terror is such really the global leader by far. So it, it only helps us in the end. So yeah, the best. All right, mate. Two more to go. Uh, yeah. Doing very, very well. Very well. Uh, tell us about the last time you shared essential oils with somebody. Is there a, is a little is there a little story you might be able to relate quickly? Yeah, well, I, was, I had one, and then it kind of changed because I actually shared with someone just in the last day. So um, I'm still working full time. So we have a very multi multicultural workforce and in particular, we have a lot, lot of Indians at work. So a lot of Indian engineers coming in the power industry at the moment. So I started diffusing at my desk. So I got a little USB diffuser. So for a bit of a laugh on anything, but it's really good. And, what, and one of my work colleagues sits close to me. He's, he's been very interested in it. And um, so, we've, we've, um, so it, it's difficult to communicate with language and, you know, around English and, you know, his English is pretty good, but he struggles with colloquialisms and stuff. But we can talk oils and that. So it's been actually an interesting change in the dynamic of our relationship. And he was telling me a story about um, when he was growing up in India, his um, grandmother would place the red dot on their forehead mm -hmm. you know, for, their, for their meditation, the third eye type in the evenings. And he said the red dot is um, sandalwood. Okay. Which, which I didn't know. So... So, um, so I, I got a sample of our sandalwood, which is Indian sandalwood. Mm. You know, well, not the Hawaiian one, the Indian one, and I um, took it to work for him. So it was not really any intent of selling him the oils. It was just I wanted him to take it home, share it with his wife, who, who misses home a bit, and his son, who's never, you know, and just get some feedback, what he thinks of our, of our sandalwood oil. So awesome. I'll have to chat with him. So it's, it's interesting. So, How was yeah. yesterday? How was yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was only yesterday and um, I'll follow him up for some feedback in the next day or two. I didn't, didn't jump straight on him. I'll just let him breathe it in. But um, no, just, so that's just a completely different thing. And it's kind of, again, a little bit of a emotional discussion in an engineering office than you'd normally have. It's talking about your feelings and, and how, how it makes you feel. And, that. and you could tell he was more, you know, emotional about remembering his grandma and the smell and all that stuff. So, yeah. And, and they use it slightly differently. They have like a block and they, they grind off some of the block and mix it with water and stuff like this. But it was just, again, just is amazing how that kind of flows into a whole different conversation than you'd normally have. So it's a that, very may, that, may, that, that might be one of the most meaningful things, interactions you've had at work, perhaps with other guys, who knows? Yeah, yeah, well, that, again, it's, it's not something you normally, you just don't talk about that stuff, but it's amazing once you kind of get through that shield that we've all got up, it, uh, you know, they're, they're a lot more, yeah, there's a lot more to, to everyone than, than you think. So it's, it's good. Cool. All right, mate, so you just said you were, you're still working full time. So, I mean, what is, what is your role in the business and, and how do you contribute to, uh, to, to help Haley and how Yeah, that? so still, still finding my role. It's still been like a, a rapid progression. So we haven't really settled into a real cadence, but in, in a sharing sense, I'm really just a, at a manager level. So... I've had a couple of enrollments recently because I've kind of 
That's awesome. As such, so it's starting to just do a little bit different. So, you know, I don't fool myself that I think, you know, that I know it all. Um, I contribute by being a sounding board and help with Haley and, and helping with decisions. So about placements and just, just logical decisions as such. So I don't really have the emotion of, of this person or that person. I can kind of look at it, you know, and try to make the right decisions. Um, I'm also a good accountability partner for Haley. So that's been the last few months when I've started to understand it all a bit more. I've been helping her keep focused on because she's got so many exciting distractions. It's easy to, to run off on things that aren't, you know, may not exactly help where we need to be heading. Um, and also, I've, I've uh, take since we launched Icky Brand Icky Guy Oils in December. You know, as around, so I've been doing the banking and the tax, all that stuff, and and that we don't mind. Um, that's, good that's good fun stuff. And, and really, probably my main contribution was the just around the home. So me having to step up and do more with the children because Haley was a full time stay at home mum. So with the oils being more busy, I've just had to do more around that which has probably been parking my career to a certain extent to just support that and um and then al allowing in, in a sense or supporting to do the workshops and the travel and attend the training because probably the first again 12 months um i wasn't hey would she went to convention she went to leadership retreat she went to like uh, you know vanessa and paul workshop or something one or two of those and but I wasn't able to go because I'd look after the kids. We've got no family support where we are, all our families in Adelaide. So that was my main contribution. And then the first 12 months, so it slowed my progress as in within the business, because I'm sure if I went to convention, I was supposed to, for example, go to gala dinner the first year. We had tickets booked and everything. I was in the Gold Coast, but the babysitter fell through. So I, I stayed home and looked after the children and Hayley went by herself, you know, so, um, but that, that's just. You got your hands full, haven't you, Ben? <laughs> yeah, but it's just part of the journey. So, you know, you don't have to know everything about the oils to contribute. You know, you just got to maybe absolutely um, step up and, and um, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. It sounds a bit like myself in many ways. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we've got one last question. And um, this is uh, from a, a, one of our viewers of Diffused. And uh, her name's Rebecca. She's from Tamworth. Tamworth. Yeah, Rebecca sure. writes, uh, Ben... Um, I, I'm aware that you've lived in such exciting places as uh, Adelaide and Singleton. And uh, she's wondering how you uh, handle all that nightlife and all those exciting uh, moments in those exciting cities. Yes, very true. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. I'm just kidding. No, I know, I know Adelaide has its detractors, but I think Adelaide's a great city. I think it's good fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Singleton, hey, I was, I was, as I said, I, was, I grew up very close to Singleton. I know all about Singleton. Yeah, no, we've we've got we've we've been we've been all over. So it's 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 interesting how our team is. We've got some fellow leaders who are um, almost their whole teams within a hundred k's of where where they live, and mm. and um, we've got people everywhere, like like globally and all over Australia. So it's just a bit of a diff different approaches. So it's lots of different ways to do it. But um, amazing. No, I think I think just on that, I think like Singleton is is quiet but we've probably found it to be the best place to start because it's click it's a clicky community everyone kind of knows each other but um you know because i've been because deterra is such a good product and it's it's really got through the town and and, and even on the um, upcoming deterra get to know deterra to a singleton's one of the stops yeah so, but it's, and it's been acknowledged by um by head office that we there's a lot of people here doing it and, and sharing and really enjoying it. So I remember Corey Lindley said a couple of years ago to us um, in Sydney, he said that the, the small towns grow the quickest and they grow very well. And a lot of, you know, the, the community is strong. Everyone discusses it. Everyone cares for each other. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Small, small towns, um, fantastic growth. Fantastic. Yeah, it, it goes both ways. And again, that's, that's a real um, plus for, for the oils and, and Deterra because on the flip side, if there if there was some issues, it would go through the town like a virus the other way, and and it's not. So it, it it really just shows, and it really allows us to connect with with it. So no, it's it's been it's been a good thing. So, so yeah. well, mate, uh, I'm glad you're a proud Singleton Aryan. Is that the word you'd say? Well, the kids were both born in Singleton Hospital, so they're single parents, <laughs> I guess. But but we're not, so it's all a bit confusing. So. It makes me all. 
sentimental. I'm, I'll have to go back through those towns pretty soon and check out how they're going. Well, Ben, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us and uh, really appreciate your time and uh, your thoughts and look, wonderful answers uh, for tonight's episode of Diffused. So uh, very, very special to have you on board. Thanks, mate. No worries. Yeah, great, great, great initiative, Mark. And um, look forward to seeing some more. It's, um, it, the, the men's influence is really, really growing. And, and um, yeah, it's exciting, I think. so. Uh, Absolutely. And, and the, more men, the more men on board like yourself, um, it, just, it just brings so much more strength to, to couples and families and, um, and not to mention how men perceive um, their own health as they see, you know, people like you and me, I suppose. And just yeah, there's, there's certainly not a stereotype, same with the women, of course, but there's not just one man doing it. You, like certain men might perceive certain type of people are into it, but as you get into it, like I can think of my friends now and they're all very different and very unique and, and, and that's great. You know, it is, you know, there's no stereotype as such. So. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, very yeah. true. Very right, right. All right, man. We're gonna let you go. And, you, don't get, you don't get some laser surgery for those eyes, or you just gonna stick with the glasses? I, I just keep getting this dust in there, and I. Have to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. This is um, this is my David Letterman look. I hope people like it. Anyway. Yeah. Um, well, just just get some laser surgery and some just for men, and you might you know you might better go global. <laughs> Too much grey. <laughs> All right, mate. That's it. I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Okay, Ben, thank you so much, mate. Cheers. All right. See ya. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hang on. Oh, this what? is. This, oh, I have to mention tonight's uh, oil. It's brought. Tonight's episode of Diffuse is brought to you by <laughs> Salubel. Salubel, right. For, I guess this is good for eyesight, Ben. So, um, <laughs> around the eyes, not, not in the eyes, no, in not the, in the eyes. Around yeah. the eyes, around that delicate skin, and your eyesight will be. <laughs> so much better. That's not compliant. Not compliant. All right. So, Sally, get into it. All right. Thanks, Ben. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Have a good night. You too, man. Thank you.